Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Champs channel. Today we're gonna take a closer look on this awesome product from Saber Trio. This is their Skylar lightsaber. Uh, this is a really all-in-one uh, package, a full experience. You have a soundboard, you have your RGB, you have a fantastic looking hilt that not only looks fantastic, but also feels amazing for dueling and spinning. Um, it's rattle free, it has a Delrin chassis, like a Vader's fault. Um, basically, you can expect a high-end electronic installation just like Vader's fault in that uh, perspective. It had window emitters here. Um, it just looks overall fantastic as I said, and uh, it's a really cool saber. So uh, let's delve right into it and uh, let's start with the intro. And welcome back guys. So we're gonna take a close-up look as you're used from me in my uh, usual videos. Um, so we're gonna start with taking a very very close-up look on this awesome Saber Trio Skylar lightsaber. We start with the emitter uh, which is an absolute fantastic piece. So we got a slanted emitter. We have three windowed emitter holes on each side of the emitter. Really really nice and a very deep blade socket so this is the thumb screw that comes uh, standard with the Skylar so take out the blade plug let's take a closer look on the blade plug first before we move ahead so it's a really nice design blade plug uh, with a nice uh, anodized uh, black se section in the middle with uh, holes from which you can see the light shining through um, I like the uh, blade plug a lot it's a really cool design, really match matches the uh, lightsaber itself. And here you have the internals. It's a really bl deep blade socket as you can see. Um, you can see the Tricree RGB LED. So you see the red LED and on top you see a white LED and a yellowish LED which is the green LED. Uh, it looks really nice, uh, very clean inside of the hilt. The slanted emitter goes down into a actual uh, tin neck area, as you can see here, really nice tin neck area. Very nice uh, chamfered uh, with the edging on the side, so it feels very comfortable in the hand. Where some of the, uh, for example, Saber Force lightsabers have a flat area here and it often feels very harsh on the hand and having that angle there is actually very comfortable to hold the lightsaber and uh, do spins with it etc so that's really convenient then we have a, a light up AV switch here um, in this case with this lightsaber asked uh, Saber Trio to surprise me and uh, they gave me uh, uh, I was uh, asking for a city looking saber so that's really cool they gave me the red uh, um, AV switch uh, on the saber so it has a red light up AV switch ring then we have the retention screw for the LED unit so the LED unit is in this section here and this is uh, the uh, emitter section so as you see this is all blade, re uh, blade retention area so we will measure that up very quickly in a moment so the LED for uh, the retention screw for the LED and this is the retention screw for the blade plug or a blade and then we have this really cool uh, section here 
a really cool design actually it really breaks up the saber and it gives a very different design element to it I really like the aesthetics of this uh, and the fact that the control section has the AV switch facing to the top and then the mirror section is actually facing to the side and I uh, I really enjoyed to see that actually I uh, uh, it was immediately it was immediately grabbing my attention like normally the traditional design would be for a slant in the middle is it's either facing outwards and inwards uh, in a line with the control section but Sabre Trio choose to do it from the side and I actually prefer that because I hold my lightsaber most often in this faction and to ignite it like this is actually much more comfortable and it makes more sense to me to have the control section on the side versus uh, front or back facing um, because if I go fight enemies I will fight it like this way and I don't have that weird big uh, control section here so I actually really like that um, I like it's on the side so it's easy to uh, maneuver and uh, uh, easy to control then we have the bottom half of the uh, uh, lightsaber and it's a really nice smooth finish well, let's see if we can uh, focus there really really nice I love the cover tech view, I said that uh, during the unboxing video as well, but uh, I really enjoy the cover tech view, it feels really cute from the top, I don't know why, but I like the profile, it's, uh, it's, it's a really nice profile from the top uh, scene, uh, quite different from any of the um, cover tech 2.0 uh, uh, knobs that I've seen so far. Then we have the uh, pommel with a knurling on the back, so easy to grip and uh, unscrew and screw in the pommel. Then we have the, uh, the uh, speaker here. Now this whole pommel design um, is made to, oh, to amplify the sound to the best extension in line with the sound font, which in this case is the uh, uh, Pico Crumble uh, dark side sound font, which I uh, asked for because I really want to have a city Saber and uh, they did uh, did not uh, Disappoint me because this soundboard is really cool actually um, We're gonna get then that uh, in a moment. So we also have a um, A chassis in here a Delrin chassis, which I will show you shortly I want to cover one more thing before we do that and that is that uh, the weathering on this saber is done by hand and uh, it really brings out the weathering to the next level. I love the weathering in the Saber. It's done so smoothly, so beautiful, and it's much better than Saber Forge. Because for example, Saber Forge has the similar type of weathering option, but with Saber Forge they run it over a latte and you can see it's very rough and it's very uh, spotty. Like sound spots are very uh, heavily uh, run over the mill and then it's almost no weathering and some parts are almost still black it's very inconsistent and it looks very messy but with this uh, hand done weathering by Saber Trio where they actually have people doing this and spending hours on polishing up the sabers and uh, weathering them it, it just looks amazing the weathering is really 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 pretty I love this type of weathering. It's uh, uh, like a grayish, greenish, uh, um, yeah, glow over the over the lightsaber, and I just love it. It looks, it just looks amazing, really beautiful. Show the backside. Flat pommel. Really nice, guys. So we're gonna do a measure up, and we do a weight. Uh, uh, we're gonna weight her up and we're gonna measure the lightsaber in a bit but we first take off the pommel and they take a closer look on the pommel itself and then the Delrin chassis okay, nice long treads beautiful I like that so we start looking at the pommel now so you can see the knurling really nice uh, very clean finish no no metal debris no garbage no crap inside uh, unlike with for example Saber Forge where you often have like small metal filings or uh, materials inside. I have found it with Vader's Fault as well with certain lightsabers that I received. It's not per se Vader's Fault's uh, fault but um, with these guys they really clean up the saber before it goes to the customer. It's clean from the in and outside and there's no small uh, metal filings that potentially can uh, puncture the uh, soft material of the speaker which I had with uh, certain sabers in the past 
And then we have the speaker. This is a, uh, a 28 millimeter two watt bass speaker. And boy, this, this thing is super loud. Like I promise you guys, um, in person, this thing roars. This the bass coming out of this uh, speaker is, is is crazy. So we're gonna flick out the Delrin chassis, which is very easy to do actually. And here we have the chassis. And now in my unboxing video, I show the chassis, but only a piece of it. And the reason for that was is that the Delrin chassis actually comes out all the way. And it has a feature that I really, really, really love. And uh, I'm gonna show that shortly. So it says Saber Trio on the bottom. Warranty void if seal is tempered. So guys, don't go mess around with your uh, Saber Trio because you can avoid your warranty. And if you don't want that, then send back uh, the lightsaber to Saber Trio. Their customer service is fantastic. They're super fast and they help you out directly if you need any help. Now, this is the real cool part of this Saber. Uh, one of the many cool parts is you can see the Delrin chassis here and you can see a recharge port and a removable battery so you have two options you can do the inhaled recharge or uh, in chassis recharge so let's say if you're lazy don't want to pop out the battery just put the uh, recharge plug in here charge it uh, from the wall charger till it's full and then you can uh, play your lightsaber again or if you go sparring or dueling outside or you go to a, a con, you take a few of these 18650 batteries with you and you just swap the battery. So that is a really fantastic deal because no matter what situation you are in, you can either just replace batteries, let's say like a Vader's Fold, like a Saber Forts, or you can use the inhaled recharge port at your liking. You can choose. I think this is a fantastic Saber uh, system, a lot of flexibility. And I hope all Sabre companies will go into that uh, eventually because I personally like this. I can replace the batteries, I can uh, charge uh, whenever I desire it from the recharge port and I think that is really enjoyable. Um, so you can see the dual run chassis which is um, very beautiful. Um, it's uh, of course a very different system than Vader's Fold but it's uh, the same uh, high quality as you can expect. Uh, from Vader's Fold in a, in terms of the chassis. So that's really, really nice. It has the 18650 18, battery holder there. And uh, it just also pops back. And for popping it back, I just have to pop it in a certain direction because it has to line up in a certain knot. So this also prevents from the chassis from uh, flying out or causing issues so that's you have to twist a little bit find that spot and then you can uh, put back that uh, Delrin chassis all the way back and then I just do it off camera but I just pop it all the way in sorry okay so we got the Delrin chassis back in place so um, we're gonna do a few things we're gonna first measure the length of the hilt from top to bottom we take the longest part of the emitter to the very end of the pommel here we go, trying to do that of course with the camera. And it's approximately 11.2 two inches long on effort. So that's a, that's a really nice length. That's a really enjoyable length. Um, the circumference of the hilt is, because I'm, I always like measuring circumference over uh, the OD to per personally. Here we got the circumference, which is around 4.6 inches. That's a really nice uh, diameter for the hilt. I actually enjoyed it. And then we're gonna measure her. So let's see. Oh, let me see, I need to set that to standard. Okay, here we go. Come on, don't move. And uh, it weights, uh, she weights 455 grams, uh, fully equipped with a soundboard, battery, recharge port, etc. etc. No blades, no blade plug. So, a very uh, affordable, uh, a very affordable, a very uh, respectable weight. Um, I really like the heft of it. It's definitely not super heavy but it definitely has a nice weight to it, which I really prefer. Now we also have to measure up the uh, inside of the uh, blade socket. So we have an idea what is the actual length of the blade socket. So, or the depth I should say. 
So the actual blade depth is uh, two inches, so around two inches deep. Of course, there's an additional uh, shroud depth here, but that's not where the blade actually rests in. It's is this inner part here. So two inches, very nice, a good uh, depth in my personal opinion. Um, I always feel that uh, if it's under uh, two inches, it feels a little bit uh, too short and in general a little bit too wobbly, especially with the heavier blades, such as uh, heavy dueling blades. So I'm gonna adjust the camera now, and then we're just gonna show you the um, comparison with some other lightsabers. Just for fun, we have a Saber Force Juggernaut here that <laughs> does not even fit in the picture, and an Ultra Saber's Aeon LE4. So, got that next there. Uh, let's see if I can uh, making that visible for you guys. So you have a uh, rough estimation in size. Uh, that uh, juggernaut is way, way too big to actually show you. But um, against the Ultra Sabers, you can see it uh, stacks up pr pretty nice. It's uh, definitely uh, uh, a little bit shorter than the Ultra Sabers in terms of thickness. They're very close in the in terms of the uh, hill thickness. So that's uh, also very uh, nice because this isn't. Uh, um, this is not a one of the higher end Ultra Saber Sabers, which are thicker in general. So this is a really nice thickness. And um, now, well, we're gonna do a short demonstration of the Pico Crumble soundboard by actually showing how to toggle between the LED colors. Good. Okay, here we go. So, now this is a very simple system. And to change the colors, we press the button and we hold it till we hear three beeps. So we have three beeps now, and now we can toggle between the LED colors. This is a Tricree LED, which is a really good LED. Uh, it lends itself for really nice color mixes and it preserves the battery and doesn't get as hot as a quad core crockery. LED, for example, compared, to, uh, let's say a good example would be an, uh, a Saber Forts uh, LED. So, we want to change to green, we go, what was it, orange, red, my favorite, uh, purple, and then uh, regular blue, and we're back to light blue. So, it has a nice uh, scale of uh, several colors you can choose from. So, let's say um, I want my sit red, uh, I just hold this button till it beeps again. And now it's selected to that color. So when I boot up the saber, it goes directly to red. So we boot it out of deep sleep mode now. So the board is now out of deep uh, sleep mode. You can see that by this uh, uh, AV switch ring is now lit up. So that means the saber is ready to go. So I push the button one more time and we turn on the saber. So the saber's on now. Uh, the different colors that you choose, let's say you choose a blue, you choose a green, have different flash on class colors. So in this case the red has a white flash on class. Actually I should say blue, I'm sorry, the red has a blue flash on class. You can see the speaker here. The uh, speaker is super loud and this looks just uh, like a fantastic saber. It's really really cool with the window emitter there. Uh, it's super bright as well and it's just looking fantastic. Now if you don't want to have sound you can also boot it up in mute uh, mode by just holding the button and then it starts up in, uh, in mute uh, modes. And now basically you can use the lightsaber in his mute functionality till you're done playing with it. You press the button again and it shuts down the lightsaber. So that's really cool. You can make it a stunt saber without sound. You can have the full sound option and you have your RGB, which make this saber very versatile in combination with the movable battery and the inhaled recharge port, all 
uh, housed on a proper Delrin chassis with a very nice uh, wire management and installation uh, which is done very neatly and clean which is very important of course so this is a really nice saber uh, a full package saber that has all everything that you're seeking for for a very affordable price so um, let's go to the verdict guys and talk a little bit more and then uh, wrap it up Welcome back guys, so I hope you liked the in-depth review. This is a really fantastic Sabre by Sabre Trio. Um, I love the hand done weathering. It just looks amazing. It looks so much better than something that comes off a, a, a latte machine that wears down the anodizing. Um, this, it just feels so amazing. It actually resembles me a little bit like uh, the color scheme of uh, Robocop. That uh, beautiful silverish color that you also see in the Robocop suit. That is something it remembers me of, reminds me of, and it just looks amazing. Um, this Sabre, as I said, is fully packed with a soundboard, RGB, it has a mute function, it comes with a cover tech view, it comes with a, a thumb screw to t easily take out blades, etc. It comes with a Delrin chassis, it comes with an in chassis recharge port, it comes with a removable battery setup, um, it's just really fantastic. The thing is loud as freak. It also has very bright colors. Flash on clash. It feels amazing in the hand. Um, it's just overall very well designed. It's a one-piece hilt minus the pommel, of course. The pommel is uh, is created specifically to funnel the sound and the bass as optimal as possible out of the back of the saber. Um, really beautiful. The emitter design is beautiful with the cutouts here, so you actually can see the light shine through. I can show you. Put it in mute mode on the fly. And you can see the uh, window emitters there. It just really, really, really looks fantastic. It's uh, a little bit uh, beefier saber in terms of diameter, uh, very close to a saber forts and ultra sabers. Uh, it's exactly there, so it feels very familiar in the hand. Uh, it feels very comfortable in the hand because that diameter, which I prefer and I love so much, is a shorter saber, but still enough gripping area for two hands on the saber. And you can also remove the cover tech wheel with the included uh, Allen wrench that is uh, A to remove the cover tech wheel and the other one is another size for the blade retention screw. If you don't like the retention knob here, then you can replace it for the included retention screw hole for your blade and have it flush on the hilt. Really beautiful, uh, really nice done uh, from Sabre Trio. They really thought uh, how you would potentially use the Sabre and they give you all the options to maximize the flexibility of this hilt. So uh, either as a, as a stunt Sabre as I have now, a dueling Sabre, two-handed, fantastic with that uh, gripping area here uh, that, that gives you that extra grip and also for spinning it gives you that fantastic gripping area here and here in the middle section uh, or a cosplay have it uh, hanging off your belt with the belt clip uh, just beautiful looking saber and uh, just a, a very affordable saber it has sound as I said and full RGB and uh, for that price range it's hard to beat um, they're very fast in the delivery and uh, their shipping cost is very affordable. The Spider being uh, based in Malaysia, uh, don't let it set you off because the shipping cost is very affordable for them uh, to ship it to the US or anywhere in the world. And um, basically, I highly, highly recommend anybody that lost lightsabers to pick up a Saber Trio, either the uh, Arclight or the uh, Skyler, in this case the Skyler. Um, it's just a beautiful hilt. I genuinely think uh, the, the design is beautifully done. Uh, it's well thought out. It's uh, very sturdy because it's a one piece hilt. It's just overall a fantastic saber. So I hope you liked the review. Please stay around for more unboxing videos or full reviews on the weekly basis. Every Saturday we have a custom saber unboxing video or full review for the past two years. Um, this is Rebel Chums, the custom saber lightsaber review channel on the YouTubes. If you like lightsabers, if you like YouTube, you're in the right place as you saw in this video. 
and uh, we're gonna of course also do live gameplays uh, through the Monday to Friday uh, weekdays uh, random games so if you like gaming as well stick around and uh, we do a live commentary and feedback videos uh, on either comments that you made on the YouTube videos or about the new Star Wars Rebels season 4 series or whatever Star Wars related app, uh, item you want me to uh, to bring up and talk about so um, my predict is Go to the website, which is uh, linked in the description of this video. Go to Saber Trio's website and pick one uh, of these sabers up for yourself. Very affordable. You will be very surprised by the price. It's very, very good for the price you pay, and um, it's 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 is directly competing with Alto Sabers and Saber Forts, but they're much better in terms of. Uh, the overall quality, the installation of the electronics and the hilt design and the hilt itself. So um, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and as always guys, stay scummy. Please subscribe for more weekly videos. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Sponsor the channel at our Patreon page. Stay scummy.